वेलकम एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग सुप्रभात हाय जय गुरुदेव व्हाट मैसेज डू यू हैव फॉर ऑल द एस्पायरिंग ज्योतिषी वी ऑल वांट टू नो दिस इट इज नॉट जस्ट प्रेडिक्शन और आइसोलेटेड इवेंट ज्योति ज्योति को पहचानना ज्योतिष है थैंक यू सो मच गुरुदेव फॉर दिस ब्लेसिंग्स एंड योर टाइम टुडे Uh, we have people joining from all across the world the teachers of jyotish students and enthusiasts of jyotish shastra and vastu shastra to hear your perspective on the different aspects of jyotish so gurudev with your permission we would like to start with the first question yes go ahead namaste gurudev my question to you is about uh, navgraha pujas which are so frequently recommended by indian astrologers to people as a one time master remedy to appease all planets so i request you to throw some light upon the subject of navgraha shanti pujas any major yagya any major puja always accompanies navgraha puja whether it is vastu puja astu shanti it is wedding or it is um house warming grah pravesh or any pujas navagraha shanti is part and parcel of every big yagyas so definitely invoking all the nine planets and their you know blessings or benevolence is good it's specifying any um adverse vibration from any of the planets shanti homa is done navagraha shanti homa is there even in where is ganapati homa durga homa everywhere there is always a little portion a small portion of uh, navagraha stotras navagraha part is always there with that as you were just saying um, often uh, astrological predictions are presented as something that will happen or not and give quite a fatalistic view but then of course you have said that one of the most important ways jyotisha can help us is the remedies so could you share more about the role and the value and the importance of remedies of jyotisha in our lives yes remedies are uh, to rectify those uh, bad effects that we might come across uh, due to the celestial movement of planets the celestial um, you know design it's like um, you know when winter comes you take care you have winter clothes right in summer you keep you ready your fan and your air condition is on so like that uh, to the time you are actions in a subtle manner in a subtle realm is what the remedy is all about like in the rainy season you prepare your umbrella you keep your rain coat right in this way the remedies or preparations for um, avoiding any adverse impact that we might face due to the planetary positions che gurudev gurudev uh-huh. it is said that once we are on the spiritual path doing our practices and have a guru in our lives our karma changes So, how is it still relevant to check the horoscope and match it for matrimony purpose? We all want to know this. Yeah, karma definitely changes. Yes, but looking at the matches and the matrimony, it gives a general guidelines. So you know where you need to go. You know the road is all clear. It's like having a fast track in the highway, but having the GPS. Uh, general guidelines all that will help definitely help jyotish is the eye of the body of knowledge so it gives a vision of what life is what uh, where it could go and where you can do corrections and where you have to go through you know when, when you know this there is a particular time which is not so good then you will not uh you know pursue things which you cannot do that time right so to do everything the knowledge of time is very essential suppose you want to sow sh- some seeds you can't sow seeds in autumn right 
when the spring comes then you sow the seed like that and if you want to sow the seed you have to have greenhouse in the greenhouse you can sow seed any time like that jyotish gives you a, a plan a general plan how things could be when you can do what and at the same time jyotish is not a fatalistic science it's more dynamism and probability science guru ji jyotish today it mostly used either to predict a future event or to figure out a reason behind an ongoing problem followed by potential remedies my question is is there more to jyotish how can we use this ancient knowledge to honor the planets the creation the time itself jyotish is a science of the connection between the macrocosm and microcosm it is not just prediction or isolated event ज्योति ज्योति को पहचानना ज्योतिष है ज्योतिष मीन्स ए लाइट अंडरस्टैंडिंग द लाइट इन द अदर सो दिस दिस लाइट इज ब्लू दिस द कलर ऑफ दिस लाइट इज येलो दिस इज ग्रीन लाइक दैट यू नो यू आइडेंटिफाई विद द कलर सो विद द इंडिविजुअल देर गुणा देर स्वभाव देर कर्म ऑल दिस इज ऑल आइडेंटिफाइड सीन बाय द ज्योतिष and jyotish is that light through which you see all this see if a room is dark all colors are same but when you have a torch when you put a torch you can see hey, this is red and this is green this is blue this is yellow you can identify all the colors similarly jyotish gives uh, an overall view of uh, the character of time and person both for dad how important is it to select an auspicious time or muhurta to begin uh, an important activity can a muhurta determine the positive or negative outcome of an event for example if a couple gets married during an auspicious muhurta will it protect their union and strengthen their union and vice versa of course uh, that is why muhurtas are always calculated but this it's the best to select the muhurta but suppose you don't get such a best time what is done you do a remedy and remedy is what some of these yagyas some pujas are done so even the time if the time does not um, give such a good signal to us but this remedy is will take care of that yeah and our intention has more power there too we should not ignore that our intention our uh, sadhana our prayers our meditation they all have an impact dear gurudev can you please share the supportive role of the rahu ketu graha in this entire creation rahu uh, you know is kundalini and ketu is gyana gyan karak so rahu helps in um, spiritual path and ketu brings wisdom knowledge ketu also means flag dwaj identification so ketu shubhra ketu all this is said ketu is the last planet of among the navagrahas and rahu ketu they are shadow planets usually people think oh rahu ketu um, they are, they don't give good results good things in life but they take you to supernatural state you know for uh, for example for spiritual growth and you know, rahu ketu is very essential gurudev so nice to see you guruji you once mentioned that there are five copies of ourselves this is demonstrated how is this demonstrated in the world and are these copies on planet earth in jyotish we understand even twins charts are not the same at the subtle level how does this connect astrologically thank you yeah twin charts it is not uh, identically same because it's not just the time of birth there is also karma is there pura janma karma and the five different aspect of yours is beyond the purview of jyotish <laughs> it comes into mystical knowledge of uh, yeah of atma gyan 
Jago Dave, Jago Dave. This Earth consciousness rising. Children today appear more awake, intelligent, and creative than some 20, 40 years back. Is it because of our planetary position at our solar system? Or is it is any Jyotish versus working beyond solar system and works at galaxy level? Yes, there are yugas also, you know, the, uh, on a macro level, time has many calculations. We shouldn't calculate time on just only one aspect. That is one's life events. Like that there is events on the planet Earth. This is seen with a bigger aspect, with a bigger science. For example, even grahas, all the planets are also affecting certain parts of the earth. If you take India as one country, now there is a Saturn is affecting Gujarat. Gujarat is Saturn. Like that, uh, Mars is the south and uh, sun is east. That is, Surya is Odisha and that area, Calcutta, Orissa. So like this, even Grahas have got uh, more impact in certain areas also. So these are all uh, Brihad Jyotish, that is Jyotish of the whole planet. And Nabhi, Vastu also the Nabhi of the whole world. Nabhi is uh, in the Ganges, you know, the confluence of Ganges and Yabuna. So like this, there are different uh, planets rule at different places also. Like from India, Rahu Ketu always rule um, outside India. That is their area of operation. Ketu, Ketu Dasha, Ketu Rahu, they always across the ocean. And so like this, the different planets have got um, impact on different parts of the world also. Uh, Gurudev, these days, um, Jyotishis are more focused towards uh, earning money, earning name and fame. And the most important attributes of being a Jyotishi, like uh, Santosha, contentment, or, or the Brahmanatva, the Brahminhood, all these things are losing its significance. What message do you have for all the aspiring Jyotishis that how they should conduct themselves and what is their approach while uh, getting into the subject for a longer term? See, whatever is Janopiyogi, whichever is useful to people, that will always bring you uh, name, fame, money, everything. Now, if you misuse it, if you are not up to the standard what you are supposed to be, then you are dukan uh, chalegani, you can't run your job for too long. For you to be effective, first, full dedication to the knowledge. Second, sincerity, number two. And honor the knowledge. It's a Vedic knowledge, ancient knowledge. When you honor the knowledge, resources will come. If you are focused on resource, it's like a doctor who is only thinking about how he can charge before he discharges people. You know, if the doctor's aim is not to make the patient better, but keep charging him one or another pretext, you don't call them a good doctor, right? If, if Similarly, a pharmacist is not caring about the health of the person, but keep on prescribing him, giving him more and more medication, it is misuse of their profession. Similarly, with Jyotishi, what is important is your integrity and honesty. Second is your sadhana, personal sadhana. Because you are not working only on calculation, you are also working on your intuitive ability. In Jyotishi, you will always see there is some positive, some negative. But if you want to predict correctly, then you need to have your inner connection. So, Connection with the tradition, connection with the master, connection with the knowledge. And Jyotishis are called Daivagna. Daivagna means one who knows the gods, knows the divinity. So that one has to 
have mantra siddhi, mantra japa. They should, every jyotishi should do mantra japa. Then you will get vak siddhi. Vak siddhi is, you say something and it is true. It comes true. Otherwise, you say something, a completely opposite happens. You can't be jyotishi anymore. So, like that, jyotishis also, they have to focus on their sadhana. And uh, no, there is no... Nothing wrong in earning money, but money is the main thing in your uh, knowledge is if it takes the knowledge takes the back seat and money is the main important thing, then it won't work for too long. Yeah, you will lose that Siddhi, the power. It is like getting peanuts and giving away diamonds. You will get your peanut, you can satisfy satiate your immediate hunger, but what you have given away is diamond, isn't it? Like that. So, it's it's okay. From ages, people have been making it as a profession only, Jyotish. But be true to the knowledge and do one sadhana also. That is very important. Meditation, japa, dhyana, faith, all this is essential.